Hi, I'm Jeff Bailey, and today in this short video, I'm going to share some ways for you to take care of your fingers and your thumbs. That's right. We're all about joint health because when there's joint health, we're happy, we're mobile, and we can get on with our lives and, and maintain our independence. But we need our fingers. We, we use our fingers and our opposable thumbs for lots of things. So how do we keep our fingers healthy? As I know, arthritis of the fingers and thumbs is pretty common. Well, joints love compression. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take one finger at a time. Let's start with the little pinky finger on the right hand. You bend the finger some, and you use your opposable thumb on your left hand to apply kind compression. Okay, you may bump into a feeling of arthritis. You may bump into some stiffness. Don't go pressing into that. When it comes to pain, we usually respond in one of two ways. We either push into the pain thinking that pain is gain. It's never gaining to push into pain. It's never beneficial, but it's equally unbeneficial to ignore the pain and stay away from it. Let's move on to the next finger, the ring finger. Slowly put the compression on it. What do you feel? Oh, it's a little bit painful. I'm not sure I should be doing this. Stay there, give it a moment. Does the pain dissipate? Does it start to turn into what I refer to as healing sensation? Ultimately, we need one and a half to two minutes in each of these shapes. Yep, this is a shape. And we just hold one finger at a time. It gives the mind and the brain and the nervous system one thing to work on. All right, and then when we release, we don't shake the hand, we don't stretch it out, we simply release. And we go to the next finger. Each finger has its own, its own history, its own form of feedback. We give each finger the attention that it really needs. All right, and so you get the idea. Let's go to the next finger. I know that we're not giving it the full one and a half to two minutes but you get the idea. Let's go to the pointer finger on the right hand. This is the finger that gives me the most feedback because this is my mousing finger. This is the finger that we push buttons with, all right? And so with this finger, slowly give it the compression. And I can feel there's more resistance in the very first joint of my first finger here. It's different than the rest, and I respect that. And let the compression do the work, healing compression. Now in the Vita practice, we work through all the joints. Imagine really how simple it is here for these hinge joints. These are hinge joints that just really have one direction of movement, flexion and extension, but the hip and the shoulder, lots and lots of contact points. All right. Now, what are we doing? We're, we're, we're stimulating healing physiology. You have it, I have it, everybody has it. It just needs compression to get stimulated. So now we slowly release. We don't shake it out. We don't stretch it. We go to the next hand. Give the little pinky finger on the left hand compression. Oh, wow, that's pretty easy. I get hardly any feedback. All right, so be it. I want to I want to keep the joint healthy. And an ounce of compressive prevention goes a very long way. And the sooner we catch the arthritis or whatever the limitations are, the better. Okay, let's release and go to the ring finger of the left hand. 
See, I use my left hand less than my right. I'm right-handed, so it's pretty it's pretty natural that my left digits would give me less feedback. Add the compression. See, there I can feel the compression into the first joint, the second joint. You can see how the skin gets white. This is, we're basically white knuckling, which challenges the blood flow. That's fine. That happens to be my definition of exercise. Exercise is that which is challenged gets better. But we got to be very thoughtful about what we challenge. We want strong bones and healthy joints. We have to thoughtfully challenge them. And it's not just what we do, it's how we do it. Go to the middle finger. Now, taking the time to do this, going through each finger, might seem a little tedious and a little boring, and maybe it is, but you can do this while you're riding the bus or while you're a passenger in the car, while you're watching a movie. <laughs> Lots of opportunities, and, and believe me, I take opportunities to do the yoga. Yeah, for me, this is the yoga. Nothing fancy about it. Always doable, always sustainable, always kind, and always using the shape and the muscles to get to the bones. All right, let's go for the pointer finger on the left hand. See, give it the compression. <laughs> it's ridiculously simple, but who's going to take the time to keep their fingers healthy? to keep their joints clean and free of arthritis? I am. I'm about to turn 61, and I'm happy to say that my joints are clean, my bones are strong. Yeah. Yeah, this one I can tell, this one really likes it. It wants more time. See, and, and one and a half to two minutes is the guideline. Your intuition will really tell you when it's time to release. And because we're stimulating the physiology within, that's why when we release, we don't shake it out, we don't stretch it out, we don't try to eliminate the sensation. It's still working. Let's focus on the fingers today. In another video, I'll talk about the thumbs. But to wrap it up, to take it full circle, let's bring all 10, well, all eight fingers into the palms and squeeze them. Thumbs come over the top. Okay, now the fist is a symbol of aggression, but let's practice making a fist as a symbol of healing, as a symbol of kindness. Yeah, we can do that. And just squeeze them in and look at your fingers. Give them all the same healing action. All the same. Can you squeeze the ring finger the same as the pinkies? The middle finger the same as the thumbs? Look at the white knuckles. Oh, white knuckles supposed to be a bad thing. But right now, right here, this is a good thing. We're challenging the circulation. That which is challenged gets better. And we're putting compression into over, well, including the wrist, over 30 joints. Between the thumbs and your fingers, you're making 30 joints healthier. Squeezing, cleansing. Now, when you release from this shape, you're really going to want to stretch it out and, and interfere with the healing process. Don't. Soften, 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 soften. Slowly release. Feel the 
change in sensation. Feel the warmth. Come back in. Observe the change in the color. Feel the way your fingers move. And now slowly extend them, making your fingers and your thumbs straighter, slowly. Now if you have some arthritis, we'll work with it. Maybe you have one or two fingers that don't behave the same as the others. It's all right, we work with what we have. And we all have lots of time in any given day where we could give our fingers and the bones within them the compression they crave. All right, when you feel the openness, you can exaggerate that a moment. Guess what? We're opening and you could say that we're stretching the front. We're really not stretching anything, we're just getting everything to extend to its fullest possibility. But guess what? There's compression on the back side. It's still compressing. Let's keep opening, keep spreading your fingers, keep putting more space between your fingers and thumbs. Use those muscles fully. All right, that's excellent. Might seem kind of silly, but it works. All right, now let's have a moment of rest. Just rest your hands in your lap and close your eyes. If you can, soften your jaw, relax your shoulders, and breathe through your nose. Feel your hands. Don't stretch them. Don't do anything. Just notice your fingers. Notice your thumbs. Notice the sensation in your hands and palms. And with a little practice, we become peaceful observers. As we develop more mobility, joint health, and bone strength. That's the name of the game. All right. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.